Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, a very important word in chapter 2, it says, Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men the things that God has prepared for those that love Him. You know, when you live this life and you face challenges that the life brings just by living day by day, you have people that get sick, loved ones that depart, challenges that come, marriages that fall apart, kids that get in trouble, all sorts of things that we deal with. And then, of course, we have multiple blessings beyond things of trouble. We have health and strength and the opportunity to have modern conveniences and all sorts of stuff. So we are limited in some degree by our present trouble or our present blessings. But this passage says, Eyes have not seen nor ears heard. Listen to this. Neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those that love him. Do you love him? Do you love the Lord today? Now listen to me, please. Hey, hey, listen. Do you love him? Do you love the Lord Jesus Christ? Now to love him is to understand obviously, who he is. In order for you to love someone, you have to know something about them. Now, most people would tell you about Jesus. Well, he's the Savior, and he, he died on the cross, and, you know, if we'll believe in him, we'll get to live forever in heaven. All true. But there's much more to Jesus than that. Jesus set forth a principle and a precedent that we are not only to obey, but we are to create a lifestyle in this particular format. And if I am going to love him, I am going to obey him. And if I'm going to obey him, then I'm going to follow him. Now, the Bible says in this uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 passage that the natural man cannot understand what I just said to you. In fact, the Bible says here that it is a spiritual discernment and it is given spiritually and it must be received spiritually and it must be understood spiritually. So in other words, what your reasoning, my reasoning would be is not suitable for the word of God's understanding. It's a spiritual book. God gives spiritual decisions. He puts us in spiritual places. We are challenged spiritually. Many things that happen in the Bible doesn't make an ounce of sense in the flesh. None, zero. But God had a purpose, and God had a cause, and that's what God said. I'm to follow him, not, not me to suggest to God what he ought to do and let God line up with me. I'm to line up with the Word of God. Uh, this Bible also says that you cannot discern what God is saying without the liberty, the freedom, and the direction of the Holy Spirit. You just can't do it. You cannot line up with God unless you are walking with him. That's what Amos 3 and 3 says. Can two walk together except they agree? And no, they cannot. So today on Sunday, let me encourage you to get in God's house, open up your ears physically, open up your heart physically, and let the Spirit of God run spiritually through your ears, through your heart, through your eyes, through your mind, through your lips, and obey what God would have you to do and say what God would have you to say. Because we all, listen, hey, we all respond accordingly by how we've been treated or what we want or how we feel. But the Bible says the Spirit of God is consistent. So let us be blessed and bless others. And I tell you, folks, if you do this, well, God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.